guys, so I have now made it to Hamburg and I had a little bit of bad news when I was at Bad Ebling. Bad Ebling is a, where the hospital is, St. George Clinic, uh, which is near Munich, which is the south of Germany. And I'm currently uh, in the north, in Hamburg. When we were in Bad Ebling, I started getting bad feelings actually about the treatment anyway, and I was feeling very nervous about it. Then we went in uh, on the day I was supposed to go in, and thankfully we spoke to a doctor, an elderly guy. He had lived in Tanzania um, for a very long time, like 12 years, unbelievably. It was a very synchronized meeting. <laughs> Anyway, because of that, we spent some extra time talking and had I not met him, I don't think this would have happened. But I explained how when I go too far, I crash. Now, I put that on the form for the hospital that when I push over a certain envelope of energy, my body wipes out because of this debt regarding energy in the mitochondria. So they... They had that on the form, but they didn't say anything to me over the email. Then when I saw that doctor, he said, if you do this treatment, you're going to end up bedridden for a very, very long time. And I don't think it's necessary. I don't think you should. So he suggested I come to Tropical Disease Institute, make absolutely clear that there's nothing else hiding in my body, which I am doing with it. We are there next week. Unbelievably, a doctor in Moshi in Tanzania was visiting whilst uh, over the last months and she worked at the Tropical Disease Institute in Hamburg. So she got us sort of a foot in the door, which is brilliant. So I'm going there next week to have the full work over. But also I have to get stronger if I want hypothermia treatment. So to get stronger, I need to be doing all of the... Uh, blood cleansing and things like this, of course. And I think I'm going to use a Rife machine. I already had a Rife, uh, which I bought. There's a story surrounding that, but I'll, uh, I'll tell you the story quickly. You'll all remember there was a bush baby or a, a greater Gallagher came into Feather's Tail and stayed on the back of my neck. And I called him Spooky too, because he came on Halloween and Years before, I, on Halloween, received hedgehog babies, and I, I one, I received one, and I called it Spooky. So when I got this great Galago, I called it Spooky too. Then I started getting emails of people and uh, Facebook, etc about Rife machines, and I'd already read about them. And Rife is basically using sound to treat illness. So you, as you have a certain pitch or frequency that shatters a glass, so too do pathogens and bacteria, etc. And you can look Rife bacteria on YouTube. You can see people under the microscope blowing up bacteria using nothing but sound waves. So I went to look for a machine that I could afford because we were really struggling with money before the fundraiser. And as you all know, I, we, there's nothing we could do to earn extra money because I was in the state I was in. And this machine, the cheapest one we could afford was called the Spooky 2. And it all happened in like the space of like two weeks. Um, but we didn't buy that until later on. We bought it uh, at the Christmas time when we came back. So, so we end up with a spooky too. So I'll be using that as well. But I'm going. It's not very good. Uh, so I'm going to give that to somebody who has Lyme from one of the groups who will benefit from it when I get a better version, because it still works. It still kills them. You know it kills them because you you hurt when you do it. Um, but I, it's not strong enough from what I've read with other people. So, but it does help. So I'm going to donate that to somebody who's struggling and get a new machine which is going to help me uh, to to get stronger and to wipe out more bacteria from my body basically so it was bad news i couldn't get the hypothermia but for me i think that's good news because i don't want to be bedridden 
for uh, six months to a year, you know, because my mitochondria are going to a death because I'm in this procedure out cold for six hours, X amount of times, you know, so I'm, I'm grateful I didn't do it. And I'm grateful that it, it sort of manifest in the way that it did. So now we're staying in uh, an Airbnb in Hamburg and it's a really beautiful place. And the energy is so nice here. I, they really are like people, a lot of Fritzy and I would say our kind of people. And they even left uh, a gift for us, which I think you'll all understand just how with me and my feathers. Uh, but they left that for Fritzy, actually. Um, so we have this beautiful uh, Airbnb where we will be for uh, Christmas. And we have uh, Aslan's just going to bed. So I'll try to be quiet. For those of you who don't know, I have uh, in Hamburg, last year, uh, friends and family helped me get this scooter and it's got a lithium battery and it does like 40 kilometers an hour um hold on i'll show you probably yeah so it does like so i've had this out today and that means that i've been able to like go down a street on you know like i'm walking but i'm not like on this for the first time in a year because last time i could do it was when i had that last year so that makes life much better in Germany. And be quiet, Aslan. This is my handiwork. <laughs> yeah, so, oh, and they have a, a pet squirrel that comes. He lives wild, but he comes and they feed and we've already seen him. He's called Elvis. So, as I said, our, our kind of people, you all know me and Fritzy by now, so. And also this, which means a lot to me, things like this. And it's a, a individual decorated stone. So I love earthly, earthy gifts where they have some meaning, you know, like, like a, it's just a stone that's been rounded in a river or a beach probably, and then has a, individual design decorated and I, I love things like this because I'll remember this point in my journey and I'll have this little memento and I've always done that from being a kid I pick up rocks and certain things in the in the woods or in the beach etc and it always jog memories so things like that are the, one of the best gifts you could possibly get me when it's something earthy like this so I'm super grateful anyway so yeah we'll be staying here so you'll be seeing me Fritzy and Aslan around here a bit and I'll pick up when I go to, I'm going to start doing some uh, John videos now that I'm here. I'm feeling really, really good uh, after resting. And I've started taking uh, another medication, which has allowed me to get a lot of uh, movement in my body because I think a lot of the bacteria is hidden behind its biofilms and not active. So that gives me a lot of freedom and a lot less brain fog and, and a lot less fatigue. So I'm grateful for that. But I'm still extremely sick. I walked two kilometers the other day, no, 2.6 kilometers the other day, it took me four days to recover. So I literally, I couldn't walk for four days. So it's still not okay. But with the scooter, it's great here. And I'm happy about that. So, uh, yeah. I'll be doing some John videos anyway. I want to start doing some John videos and uh, talking about my, well, everything, everything that's John, my, my spirituality, my things that I've learned and things that I've uh, explored. It's, it's normal stuff, you know, esoteric things and stuff like this. So, so that's it. And we love you all. God bless. And I'll see you soon, guys. Bye. Uh, I did the wave. I knew. <laughs> <laughs>